Maasim Acts 17. Now when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Tals, rather Thessaloniki, where was a synagogue of the Yaudim. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Shabbatoth reasoned with them out of the scriptures, opening and alleging that Hamashiach must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Yahusha, whom I preach unto you, is Hamashiach. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Selah, and of the devout Yavanim, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. But the Yaudim, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, and assaulted the house of Yekan, and sought to bring them out to the people. And when they found them not, they drew at Yekan and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also, whom Yachan has received, and these all do contrary to the decrees of Kekhar, saying that there is another king, one Yahusha. And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they had taken security of Yechan and of the other, they let them go. And the brethren immediately sent away Paal and Sila by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Yaudim. These were more noble than those in Thessaloniki, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Therefore, many of them believed, also of honorable women, which were Yavanim, and of men, not a few. But when the Yaudim of Thessaloniki had knowledge that the word of Yahuwah was preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also, and stirred up the people. And then immediately the brethren sent away Paul to go as it were to the sea. But Sila and Timotheus abode there still. And they that conducted Paul brought him unto Athens, and receiving a commandment unto, unto Sila and Timotheus for to come to him with all speed, they departed. Now, while Paul waited for them at Athens, his ruach was stirred in him when he saw the city wholly given to idolatry. Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Yaudim and with the devout persons and in the market daily with them that met him, rather that met with him. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him. And some said, What will this babbler say? Others some, rather other some, He seems to be a setter forth of strange Elohim, because he preached unto them Yahusha and the resurrection. And they took him and brought him unto Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof you speak is for you bring certain strange things to our ears we would know therefore what these things mean for all the athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing then paul stood in the midst of mars rather mars's hill and said Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye engage in the worship of devils. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, 
to the unknown Elohim, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Elohim that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Yah of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to all life and breath and all things, and has made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek at Yahua, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of Yahua, we ought not to think that Yah is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. And the times of this ignorance, Yahua winked at, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has ordained, whereof he has given assurance unto all men, and that he has raised him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, and others said, We will hear you again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them. Howbeit certain men clave unto him and believed, among the which was Dionysius, the Areopagite, and a woman named Damaris, and others with them, 